Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, our dancer Joss. And this, of course, is Futropolis. Ladies and gentlemen, dear chefs, chocolate lovers, and foodies from all over the world, welcome, welcome to the World Chocolate Masters 2018. The time is now, le moment suprême, as they say, to find out which three chefs out of our top 10 super finalists will make it to the top three of the World Chocolate Masters, and of course, who will be entitled the World Chocolate Master 2018 in a few moments but first things first let's be honest this competition wouldn't be possible without our esteemed chefs so please give it up for them they have been coaching and training our contestants not only during these three days but also during the preparation of two years thank you very much dear chefs Of course, also a big thank you to our esteemed jury members, those who have been watching the skills, determination, joy and passion of our contestants. 20 jury members coming from the 20 participating countries. Give it up for the jury members! <laughs> and then of course, the most important persons during these three last days, ladies and gentlemen, I really would like to have a big applause. I really would like to hear you, Paris, for our contestants. <laughs> China, Ching Ching Liao. For Russia, Artem Blushkov. Australia, Daria Nechiporenko. Mexico, Alejandro Rosales Rodrigo. For Spain, Ivan Pascual. Morocco, Yassin Labjaret. United Arab Emirates, Arabin Daleda Ratna. For Germany, Martin Sydney. For the Netherlands, Patrick de Vries. For Italy, Maurizio Frau. Denmark, Tosh Tuba. Poland, um, Michael Imanuk. France, Joanne Laval. Switzerland, Elias Laderach. UK, Barry Johnson. Japan, Akihiro Kakimoto. Korea, Unyu Kim. Singapore, Lee Desmond. Belgium, Jürgen Bart. And USA, Florence Cheval. And of course, I would also really, truly like to thank my two co-hosts. They were amazing, amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Julie Sharp and Marc de Marquette. Julie and Mark, really, truly, I would like to express my gratitude to you. You were amazing, and if it's counting for me, for me, you were the two highlights of this show, this uh, three days. So how was the experience for you guys? You were really the ear, the eyes, and the kitchens. You went into the details. How was it, Julie? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, it was such a privilege to be able to see all of these guys work. And, you know, for me as well, we've seen all these new techniques, and I was right there by the side of you all. So, you know, thank you from me for sharing it with me as well. It was brilliant. Well, for me, these are superheroes. They're all amazing, wonderful people, open our eyes, and we've tasted amazing, amazing chocolates. And thank you for walking us through this extraordinary journey event. You know, Virginie, it's been amazing. I enjoyed it every minute. I mean it, not only the <laughs> chocolate, but also working with you and everyone together. So thank you very much.
Let's say, because yesterday, unfortunately, yesterday evening, we had to say goodbye to 10 of these 20 contestants because only 10 out of them, ladies and gentlemen, could make it to the super final that we had today on Friday. And let's say that although they had to say goodbye yesterday, they showed us creativity, determination, craftsmanship, and it's a cliche, but being here is already a winner. I hope that they'll keep that in mind. And why not, they may maybe win an award, the best of award later on this evening. So uh, they still might have all their chances, and that's for later, because I think, ladies and gentlemen, that the time is now to go back in time and to have a look about the most beautiful moments of this this competition, the World Chocolate Master 2018. An extraordinary piece. Well, if it stands at the end, I will be happy. This competition wouldn't be possible without a great organization standing behind it. So please put your hands together for Vice President Global Gourmet of Barry Callebaut, Freek van der Knaap, and also Barry Callebaut, President of Europe, Middle East and Africa, Massimo Garavaglia. Well, first of all, welcome on stage, gentlemen. Maybe, Massimo, start with you. What did you experience these last three days? Well, look, to my mind, a few things, but very important. Uh, first, uh, what I could see, uh, really a lot of technique, uh, but together with determination and passion. So, you know, these are the three things that, in my opinion, are surely ingredients for success for all the people here. So, on my side, really, big bravo to all uh, the participants and uh, yeah, that will be a good uh, uh, opportunity for them to have uh, done this step and for their future career will be very important. It is because it is a really beautiful competition. Why is the World Chocolate Master so important for, uh, let's say, Cacao Bari itself? Well, Cacao Bari wants to showcase the best that chocolate creativity has to offer. And I think we've seen a lot of that over the last three years, three days and three years. Um, Caco Barri is all about fine flavor, about the best and uh, innovative pastry and chocolate technique. And these participants have really brought us to the next level. So for us, this is an incredibly humbling and enriching uh, experience over these past three days. Yes, I can say that I've set the bar at the highest level, so it will be tough for uh, the next generation. The past three years, indeed, when they were preparing and here during this competition, they were working on the theme, the future, how to bring chocolate into the future. What do you think? Have they succeeded in uh, the purpose? Well, I think they've done a lot of creativity into the different uh, snack on the go uh, assignments. They've thought about uh, different ingredients, food pairing with other ingredients, techniques, as I was mentioning. So yeah, there's plenty of richness if you look at all the creations uh, for us to, to take into the future with them, hopefully. 
Yes, with them, we hope, we'll, we'll sure do. What do you think, Massimo? How will the, the chocolate taste like and look like in the future? Have you seen that here with our contestants? But look, you know, the chocolate industry overall is very dynamic. And uh, I think the future will be about discovery, will be about discovery of the new trends that are happening in food, happening in chocolate, of course. Will be also about the discovery of the new emotion that a product like chocolate can bring. And uh, I truly believe, we truly believe in Barry Calbo that the uh, chefs, the artisans, are the ones that they can put together these trends and emotion, and uh, they can uh, probably uh, and very soon redefine uh, the chocolate industry. So, it's a lot is in their hands. We've seen indeed a lot of new techniques and herbs that will be in use. Freak, I'm sure that you want to express yourself and address you to someone here or uh, the people at home who are watching. Absolutely, yeah, I would like to use the opportunity to thank uh, enormously uh, from the bottom of our heart the participants first and foremost. I mean, fantastic job, all 10, all 20, all the participants in the local pre-selections. Also the jury for being with us and for making this competition so well regarded. Uh, of course, also to um, our sponsors, because without them, we couldn't have made it this big. Uh, also, the community of Coco Berry ambassadors around the world. And, and finally, of course, the millions of live stream viewers that we've had participating and, and, and sharing their tweets and liking us uh, and, 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 and incre increasing the excitement around the competition. I think it's really spectacular. So thank you all very much. Well, impressive. Thank you very much, Freik, and uh, of course, Massimo. Congratulations also on the result of this great competition. Thank you. Thank you. But then, of course, ladies and gentlemen, there's one person maybe not that happy, let me express myself differently, the one who was entitled World Chocolate Master 2015. And let me say that the adventure he experienced was an ordinary one. So let's have a look at the images here. 2015, Vincent Vallée. Ladies and gentlemen, je vous demande d'accueillir. Give him an applause, Vincent Vallée. Alors Vincent, soyez le bienvenu. À trois ans, tout ce que vous avez vécu depuis euh, l'élection 2015, qu'est-ce que ça fait, vous fait What have you experienced during these three years since you have been entitled World Chocolate Master? Alors c'est vrai que ça me fait très chaud au cœur d'être là, ça me rappelle beaucoup d'émotions, excusez-moi. Euh, voilà, euh, je suis très heureux d'être là, de l'autre côté de la barrière. Euh, J'espère euh, au nouveau gagnant qui, que ce titre lui apportera la même chose que ça m'a apporté et que ça m'apporte tous les jours. Donc, voilà. Et peut-être encore quelques conseils à lui donner, ou elle, hein, on ne sait jamais ah ben bah oui, c'est qu'un tremplin, hein. c'est voilà, il... celui-là qui va gagner le concours, c'est qu'un début, euh... après il faudra toujours se remettre en question, toujours travailler, Et voilà, à la recherche. Alors, quel a été le, le moment dont vous vous rappelez encore le plus pendant votre euh, compétition, il y a trois ans bah oui, hein, la remise des prix, c'est vrai que c'est toujours un moment euh, qu'ils attendent tous. Hein, je pense qu'ils sont très pressés de savoir euh, qui, qui, s'ils ont gagné ou pas. Donc, euh, puis on connaît très bien Cacao Barry pour faire durer le suspense. Donc euh, je pense que... On ne va pas les laisser dans le oui. suspense. Alors, euh, cher Vincent, restez euh, près de moi. Because in a few moments, we will know to who you will give the title and uh, trophy. So we know you're also very nervous and that there will be a lot of uh, emotion. So I think it's time, ladies and gentlemen, to invite our three jury uh, president on stage. Give it up for Frank Hasnot, uh, Cédric Gobet and uh, Naomi Mutino.
Well, gentlemen, we've been working a lot together these last three days. So how, Fang, do, did you experience it? Of course, very excited to, uh, to see all the competitors doing such an amazing job. And uh, in the end, uh, we just uh, saw amazing, beautiful uh, work of each contestant. So I think they did a, it, it was just good to be here on the other side uh, after uh, so many years. And um, I think uh, congratulations to everybody. Congratulations to everybody. Cédric, est-ce que on, vous croyez que les, les finalistes ont pu mettre euh, votre expérience, votre créativité un peu de côté Je veux dire, est-ce qu'il y a des moments où vous vous êtes vraiment impressionné par leur talent euh, Bien entendu, avec même les finalistes ou même ceux qui sont passés avant, chaque candidat m'a apporté un joie de, de rencontre, un joie de découverte, un joie de, de philosophie et une façon de voir les choses que... Moi, que je travaille au Muris, je n'ai pas tendance à voir ce système de concours. Mmh. Et chaque moment que j'ai pu passer avec eux, de loin ou à côté, j'ai appris certaines choses et je les remercie déjà pour ça. Voilà. Merci, donc, euh, bien. Alors, Naomi, petite question. Si on parle de création en chocolat, quelles étaient les réactions du jury mmh. <rire> ジャッジしていただいた皆さんがいて、この大会を通じて出会った人たち、皆さんとこの大会を続けていくっていう未来が見えたと思います。ま euh, permis de voir la possibilité de continuer de rencontrer tous les professionnels et tous les amateurs de, de chocolat à travers euh, euh, l'organisation de différentes, enfin, de prochaines éditions. Et c'est vrai, cette compétition brings people together, not only the chocolate, but also Kakabari and the World Chocolate Masters bringing people together. That's what it is all about, also. So, thank you very much, Vincent, of course. I hope you're ready for it. And thank you very much, dear jury presidents. Gentlemen, time to announce the results of the top 10 finalists. Maybe it is good to have a look at the ranking of day one, because at the end of day one, you all get, have got some uh, scores in alphabetical order. We'll be looking at the scores of yesterday and today. And then Mark and I will be adding the scores of yesterday and today. So I hope you're ready. The first one that can step forward for UK, Barry Johnson. So your score day one was 141. Of course, the jury has been evaluating yesterday and today also. And Mark, you are having the quote from the jury. We have a quote here for you, Barry. Barry, you are a true gentleman with a clear and dedicated strategy, with wholesome choices. We loved your competitive and positive spirit. You were well prepared, well organized, well done. You took risks and you put your bets on to gluten-free, healthy and vegan patisserie. You smashed it with overwhelming taste. Well done. And that overwhelming taste was worth yesterday round two. 183 points. Today, day three, it was 124 with a total of 448 points. Congratulations. <laughs> the
then we would like to invite from Poland, Michael Ivaniuk. So your score on day one was 139. And then you have something to say about that, of course, day two and three. Indeed, the judges thought, Micha, you are an absolute ambassador of Poland. People in Poland must be extremely proud that you have made it to the top 10. The jury praised your persistent performance. Congratulations. Day two of the competition, you earned 186 points. And today you were worth, you and your creations of course, 136. That makes a total of 461 points. Then we would like to invite from Singapore, Desmond Lee. Your score on day one was 125, and what was the jury's quote? This is what the jury had to say, Desmond. You are a giant man. You were so focused. You made it to the top 10. You tantalized our taste buds. You deserved your place in the Chocolate Olympics. Well done. So, the second day of the competition for you were 173 points today 92 which makes a total of 390 points congratulations <laughs> then up to Denmark Thor Schube. Your score on the first day was 143. And this is what the judges had to say, Tor. Tor, you are our Viking chocolatier, a true conqueror and fighter, fantastic positive spirit, happy and joyful. Great that we saw your personality reflected in your work. Lovely, fruity, herby, flowery flavors. That was you, Tor. You really brought us something completely different, and the jury really thanks you for that. Yeah. 
And that means that your total score on round two was 198 points. And today your fresh pastry and design were worth 127 points, which makes a total of 468. Then for Belgium, Jürgen Baert. Jürgen, the first day you were assigned 134 points and then the jury... The jury said, <laughs> Jürgen, Belgium has a legacy in the World Chocolate Masters. We had Belgium winners. We had Belgiums in the top three. There was a very heavy weight on your shoulders. And the jury agreed this. You have been fighting like a lion, reinvented Belgian icons, and made them explore the underworld. Thank you. The total score round two, so day two, was 174. And today we would like to add 126, which makes a total of 434 points. Congratulations. That makes Belgium the full place and we still are having Thor on top. Then our lovely lady Yoon Kim from Korea. Please step forward, Yoon Yoo Kim. Well, your score on day one was 135, and then you did a great job. What did the jury have to say about that? This is what they had to say. Our one and only lady chef who fought her way through to the top 10. You punched through all the boundaries, broken all frontiers. You are dedicated with gorgeous textures and great pairings. The jury loved your positive spirit. And we loved it too, so it was worth on the second day 205 points. <laughs> and today you also amazed the jury with 138 points, that means 478 points. Wow, Unyu Kim. Or Grace, as her friends call her. Congratulations. But is that enough? We will find out because we still have other persons to call. You can go back, dear Unyu Kim. 
because then it's time for... <laughs> Then it's time for Japan. Akihiro Kakimoto. Well, Akihiro, the first day when you were here, you already made the jury with 152 points. And this is what the jury said. You are a magician of flavor and a true creator. You are an inspiration to all of us. You are confident and ultimate calmness, very steady in your performance. You gave a wonderful Japanese touch to all of your future products creations. You are a daring Japanese samurai. Wow. <laughs> and then, of course, we had day two with uh, Onwa chocolate, the bonbon, and uh, the chocolate uh, snack to go. That was worth 193 points. <laughs> and today, You were worth, and your creations, chocolate creations, 162 points. You are jumping 507 points. So, number one, a new number one. For now. For now, indeed. Because the next one we would like to invite is from Switzerland, Elias Laderach. Your score the first day was 163. And then, what and happened then, day two and three? What did the jury thought about that? This is what our esteemed jury said, Elias. You are the Usain Bolt of chocolate. You are super focused, you're super technical, with extreme precision and dedication. Your attention to detail is second nature. Overall, amazing, clean, sharp, with a perfect performance. Well, Elias, I can say that the second day, day two of the competition, you collected a lot of twos because you got 222 points. But what happened today? Day three of the competition, you got 100. 67 points, so a total of 552 points. Here he is, Elias Ladrach for the 
moment on number one. Will he stay there or not? We will know it in a couple of minutes because now it is up to USA, Florent Chevaux. Your score on day one was 144. You performed very well the past two days, but was it enough? What this did our esteemed jury say? Our jury said this. Even though you are a Vegas man, you're not a gambler. You are a true winner. Your futuristic and artistic designs were so innovative. You showcased amazing signature creations from product to packaging. Your trademark is sharp, minimalism, combined with super tastes and great textures. Well done. Really well done. And I will never forget the donut. Thank you for that. And that was worth day two, 206 points. Day Three, how did you perform today? The jury said great and it was worth 167 points, a total of 517 points. <laughs> Jumping to number two, so this Whoa. is a really exciting moment. Still one name to go, so France. Joanne Laval. Your score, day one, 163, and you added, of course, a lot of points, according to the jury. Absolutely. This is what they had to say, Johan. You are an amazing artist, a true Futropolis ambassador. The jury saw a chef that was extremely well prepared, highly skilled, and passionate. We loved your creations, and you surely inspired many people, way beyond the Salon du Chocolat, way beyond Paris, and way beyond France. Amazing. So Switzerland, in the lead, but will he stay? That's the question. Yuan, you performed very, very well yesterday, day two of the competition. And that was worth 206 points. So this means when I'm going to pronounce the next number and result, 
we will know who will be the World Chocolate Master 2018. And I see that uh, CEO Barry Calobo, Antoine de Saint Afrique, and Vincent Vallée, our previous winner for within a few moments, previous <laughs> winner, are ready to jump on stage. So, round three today, you earned. 160 points, a total of 529. So, a World Chocolate Monster 2018 is Elias from Switzerland. Well done. Our top three ladies and gentlemen, USA, Florent Chevaux, France, Joanne Laval, and Switzerland, Elias Laderak. Well, Elias, congratulations. You see your famous right away. How are you feeling, first impression? Overwhelmed. I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's quite heavy. What were you thinking? Honestly, what were you thinking the last moments of the scoreboard? I don't know. I was hoping, but I, I mean, I don't know. You were not convinced. No, I wasn't sure. No, absolutely not. No, it was a, so a close run. Johan, you did a great work, really, and all of you guys. And uh, I'm very happy that it finally was well, enough. Well, you can be very happy. I hope you experienced a wonderful, wonderful competition, thanks to uh, Kekawari, of course, and all your supporters who are here with us. <laughs> That you give this one a very, very nice place. You deserve it. Just go ahead. Woo! There he goes. USA, Florent Chevaux, La France, Joan Laval, and of course, Elias. And a big round of applause to all our contestants. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Florent, Florent Chevaux, USA. Our top three. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, this must have been great. And thank you for joining us. This really defining moment of the World Chocolate Masters 2018. Thrilling, exciting, everything was there in one word. Just great, great wait. If you want to receive something, well, just go ahead. www.worldchocolatemasters.com. And of course, we hope to see you back for another great World Chocolate Master. Thank you and congratulations, Switzerland. Bye-bye.